Significant decisions on two controversial issues. The State Preservation Board voted unanimously to remove the historically inaccurate Confederate plaque inside the state capitol. It was Dallas Democrat Eric Johnson that asked for this two years ago. And in Tarrant County, Republicans there voted to keep a loyal member of the GOP as an officer who just happens to be a Muslim. Dr. Shahid Shafi remains with the party. But both of these cultural issues divided many conservatives. So what does it suggest about the future of the GOP? Our first question this morning from Matt McCoviak, the Tra Travis County Republican chairman, and he is also president of the Potomac Strategy Group. Matt, good to see you, man. How you doing? Doing well. So what do you make of these two big decisions? The, uh, the plaque and the plaque goes and Shafi stays. I think it's good news uh, all the way around. Um, you know, as it relates to Tarrant County Republican Party, I would, was pretty out front on this. I wrote a letter to the county chair a few months ago, um, made clear that there's no place for religious bigotry in the Republican Party. Um, as a county chair, I, I, I understand that anyone in precinct chair can bring any resolution they want. Every county party has its own rules on that, so you can't prevent a resolution from coming up. I was, uh, so uh, on the one hand, I was very pleased to see that this individual uh, was not removed from his position solely due to his religious beliefs. Um, on the other hand, uh, it's appalling that 49 members of the Tar Tarrant County Republican Party Executive Committee voted to remove him on that basis. Well, um, uh, they got some real work to do up there. I hope every single one of those 49 people are, are primaried uh, in March of 2020 on that, on that issue alone. So uh, it, was a, it was a good outcome. Uh, it wasn't the embarrassment that it would have been for the party locally and, and across the state and nationally. Uh, but again, they have some work to do up there. As it relates to the plaque, uh, the Confederate plaque, it's a very good thing it's coming down. Um, you know, I do believe that, that you know, historical symbols have a place in America, in our world, uh, but obviously uh, symbols that are racially insensitive uh, don't need to be uh, in our government buildings. And I think that's, that was the decision they came to here, and it was a good decision that almost everyone will, will welcome. Matt, let's talk about the uh, legislative session. Week one is down, a new speaker in the House. How do you expect the House and Senate to work together considering the friction we saw last session between Joe Strauss and Dan Patrick? So, look, we're in the early days here, um, and in the early days there's a limit to what can be done. We have the inauguration on Tuesday. Uh, at some point here we'll get uh, the emergency items from the governor. Uh, committees haven't been appointed yet in the House or Senate. We don't know who the committee chairs are going to be uh, yet, particularly in the House. So we're kind of in this early phase where people are saying the right things. There appears to be a willingness to work together. I do think that the partnership that uh, Lieutenant Governor Patrick, Governor Abbott, and new speaker Dennis Bonin are forming is real. Uh, whether it can stand the test of time and pressure and political yeah. reality remains to be seen. But the fact that they're all getting together, that they're having breakfast, that they did a press conference on the second day of the session. And I think there's a real understanding now and a real consensus that you cannot do property tax reform without also doing school finance reform. They're, they're pairing those issues together. There's a seriousness and a focus across both parties, across uh, both sides of the Capitol uh, that wasn't there two years ago. And so uh, having just seen Speaker Bonin speak uh, down here in Austin a couple of days ago, uh, he believes it can be done in 140 days and he's not going to accept uh, not doing it in right. 140 days. Already lobbyists are talking about it going to special session. I think uh, we're, we're we, a little early to be talking like that right now. I, I would think we are way early to be talking about that, but I know we will be talking to you in the future as all this unfolds. Matt, good to see you again. Thanks a lot. Now to local control.